coming out here after 30 years, yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm going to have something because I'm rich in personality, you know, and uh, I'm rich in love, my family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts. Shout out to everybody out there on team, thank you, pal, man, much love, man, I appreciate y'all from the heart. Um, I was chilling tonight, and I thought to myself, man, let me go ahead and make a video of something y'all ain't seen before. I know all y'all out here used to that trail mix and y'all got different types out here, different kinds. Well, in prison, like you always know, we got to be innovative and creative. So we came up with our own way to make trail mix because we couldn't get that in there unless we got it on the holiday pack. So we came up with our own way to make trail mix. I'm going to show y'all today how to make the Banky Pound prison trail mix. So this is something you should make, man, so you can snack on save you a little money, you wouldn't have to keep running to the store buying this, that, and the third, take the chips or whatever, a little whatever. This was a good little snack that we can make. All these items in here we was able to afford or get on the commissary so we can make this little meal right here. So hopefully y'all like it. Hopefully y'all enjoy it. Hopefully you try it at home and you make it, you like it, and you hit me back in the comments or send me some video of you making it, eating it, and enjoying it, I get much thrill out of that, much love out of that, much respect out of that. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make the Benny Pound Prison Trail Mix, and in saying that, let's get with the ingredients. These are the things you're gonna need right here. We used to get these cookies right here, these Chips Ahoy. We used to get them on the holiday pack. They was really good for this type of stuff. We can get the M&Ms off of Commissary. We can get some type of uh, trail mix. Or, or we used to get like health mix and stuff like that off of the commissary. You can get some Snickers, you know, you need some jelly, a little bit of jelly. You definitely need peanut butter. Honey is optional. You don't have to have the honey. You definitely going to need some uh, noodles. Noodles go with everything in prison. Everything in prison go with noodles. And uh, some uh, microwave popcorn. But we only need the bag, not the actual popcorn. You're going to need a couple of bowls to do what you got to do. You're going to need a microwave. And you're going to be in the business of making your own trail mix. Save your little money. Bonding with your family or your kids. Being able to have something that you can create it together. And it's super nice. Super fun. And they carry it with them for the rest of their life. And that's what it's all about, man. Bonding and, and, and making memories. So that's what we're getting ready to do right now. So, the first thing you need to do, like I say, is get your popcorn bag. Pop your popcorn, eat it, or do whatever you want to do with it, because you just need the bag. You take that bag first and you get you a noodle. Any kind of noodle would do because you don't need the seasoning pack or nothing. You just need the noodle. So you take the noodle. And you put it in the um, in the popcorn bag, right? You put the noodle in the popcorn bag. What you want to do is this actually that's another video I make down the line for y'all. We make fried rice. This is how we do this too. We put rice in here with noodles and we fry it and we make fried rice, you know. Shrimp fried rice, whatever you want, we can make it, you know what I'm saying? It can be done, trust me. But right now what we're going to do is fry these noodles and get all the starch and stuff out and make them golden brown is what we want to do. So when you do this, you got to be careful with the microwave though. I, you know, um, it's different these microwaves out here than the microwaves we use in there. So you got to watch it at all times, shake it up, fry it, fry it. We just trying to get it golden brown. That's all we trying to do to do what we got to do. So come over here to the microwave. We're going to throw this in this microwave right here. We're going to put it in there. We're going to start it off with uh, three minutes. And we're just going to keep an eye on it. While we're doing that, we're going to come back over here and get with this stuff right here. Now, as I told you, we got the m and We got the cookies. We got the Snickers. We got the, um, the trail mix. And what we do is we break all of that up into small pieces. And we put it in here. And we shake it up. See that? That's all of those items in here. I've already did to consume time. Now what you do is you take the cookies and the way we used to do it in there, we put it in a bag or something and we crush them up. 
See, I can crush these up and make them into smaller pieces like that. Same thing with the m &Ms. You put them in here, you crush them up, you make them smaller pieces to put inside of the mix. This is what you want to create, the mix. Once you got that mix down, then you're good. So now we need the peanut butter. The peanut butter is going to have to go in the microwave, so we're going to have to wait till that finish. And we put this peanut butter, you got to melt this peanut butter down because this peanut butter is the really is the most important ingredients in this trail mix because the peanut butter is what consolidates all of it and holds all of it together and makes it uh, pure deliciousness. That's what it is. That and me. Combination, pure deliciousness. But yeah, the peanut butter is very important. The jelly and the honey, like I said, both of them for real is optional. It all depends on how you eat it. Let me check this. I smell something. Oh, I might have been overcooking it. Woo, she cooking it. Shake and bake, shake and bake, shake and bake. See if she brown. Yeah, she getting brown. One of them get a little. See, this is what you got to watch it for. See? Look at that. So you gotta watch it because it get like that and you get them little pieces and chunks that won't broke down real big. You gotta take them out and get rid of them. Yeah. Okay, so now we got we got a little bit of this in here. So what we do is Get, you got to have a bigger bowl because your bigger bowl is going to be your mixing bowl. Alright, so we're going to put this in here and we're going to see what we're working with. I get up here, you see that? And we got a couple of pieces that might be overcooked, so we get rid of those. Try to get rid of those. That's the microwave problem. You got to know your microwave. You got to know, so it's a little trial and error, but for the most part, she good right there. All right, we got those. Then we're gonna put this peanut butter in the microwave and let this melt down some. All right, now take this and you, you take your mix and you try to sprinkle a little bit in. Gauge what you got, it's probably, it's probably a decent mix right there, you see that? Stay up on that there, that's good right there. Decent little mix right there. Okay. Now, we got this in order. Oh yes, oh. Let's not forget this. Let's not forget this. Shout out to the person who got me there to subscribe with much love. Appreciate you, never forget it. Shout out to the person who got me this here. You understand, that's the love that they said. That's what we talking about. Spreading that love. People sharing and caring. That's what it's all about, team. Thank you, pound. I love y'all. All right, let's see what we got going on. We still have one over here. Get some more with this peanut butter. Get something to mix this peanut butter up. And we rolling. We cooking with Crisco, man. What we doing? So we gonna mix this peanut butter up because like I say, this peanut butter is very, very uh, essential in what we're trying to do. But you want to get it where it be running so it can do what it needs to do, which I'm going to show y'all in a short period of time. All right. Now, we got this mix in here. Now, we're going to take and put just a little bit of jelly in here. We don't want a whole lot. It's just for the flavor. Put a little bit of jelly in there. Honey, like I said, it's optional. You don't really need it. It all depends because we did not have honey on a regular basis when we was in there. Only time we had honey in there was when we got it off the holiday pack, which only came every couple of months. So it wasn't really like 
something that was automatic that we was going to have. So if you don't have it, you don't have to use it. But it does, it gives it a little flavor and it gives it a little bit more texture. So if you do got it and you want to use it, go feel free to use it. See what's going on with this peanut butter. It's kind of hot, so you probably have to use something to protect yourself. Alright, I don't know if this is quite good enough, but we're going to go with it anyway. So what we're going to do, we're going to put that peanut butter down up in there as well. All of that up in there. You get that peanut butter up in there. That's like I say, that's the main ingredients. So we're gonna get that up in there. We're gonna see what we're working with with that. By getting that in there, when you get that in there, that's when you find out how much power you got in them arms if you've been working out now, because that's when you start to shake it back. This in there with, uh, we had smaller bowls, or either we use big old tater chip, uh, I mean big old cereal bags that we used to get. We used to get cereal on a holiday pack to have uh, Ziploc bags. So we used to get them in the Ziploc bag. See that stuff starting to marinate? See, now you got to judge it. So when you judge it, you see what you got is a little wet. Add a little bit more to it. See that? See what we're working with there? You see that stuff? Mmm, love it when the plan comes together. Yeah, be surprised what you can learn here, huh? Yeah, I know y'all ain't never seen nothing like this before. We had a dude in there, right? <laughs> his name was, uh, well, his nickname was Beast. And all he did was make food every day, no matter what it was, pizzas, tacos, uh, trail mix, uh, uh, I, mean, I mean, you name it, he made it. And he just sold food all day to dudes that, <laughs> that was too lazy to make their own food. That's what he did. And he made a killing off of that type of stuff. But you used to can see him almost every two or three days making tons of this stuff because a lot of dudes that work out wanted that little snack when they sit down and watch the game and they snacking on it or they sit down and watching the TV show and they snack. And he used to make it. And he used to bag them up in little bags like this. And he used to sell each one of them probably like this for about a dollar piece. So he make hundreds of bags making hundreds of dollars off of Pennies. Now that's entrepreneurship at its best. At its best. In the belly of the beast, he was surviving. Man, because he was an entrepreneur, he was selling this stuff, he was making this stuff, and he was making it happen. So, like I said, it don't matter where you at, it matters your will and your resolve to, you know what I'm saying, to make it happen, man. And a lot of people in there, they creative, they innovative, and they make things happen for themselves. So, here. Oh man, look, see how it's coming together. See that? See? Now you take and add another piece of ingredients, which is come get up on this. This is oatmeal. You can use your own flavor. This right here is peaches and cream. This is dry oatmeal. You take and put this up in here. Mix that up in there. And you go back to your shake game. Shake it, bake, shake it, bake. We 
When you heard this noise out in the pot, you already knew what, you, you, you already knew what it was. You knew what time it was, you know somebody was making some jokes. You already knew. Alright, get up on here. Look at this stuff. Look at this stuff right here. See what I'm saying? Look at that. All right there is good money. All of that stuff is good right there. Eating chunks of deliciousness. Look at that. Chunks of it. And it's up to you to get it how small you want it. The longer you shape it, the smaller it gets. You can have you got some dudes, they like big ones, they like, you know, to get the big bursts of taste in their mouth. Other dudes, they can break them up, make them smaller, but you done already created the whole mixture, so it's already right. It's just up to you how long you want to shake it. See, what Beast would do is this. He would take this, and he would take these little baggies like this, although we didn't have Ziplocs. We had, you know, the regular little baggies, you know, the food joints, and he would separate them, and he would put them in there. He would take those right there, this is the entrepreneurship. He would take those right there and he would make hundreds of them, hundreds of them, and he would sell them for a dollar a piece. So you're talking about two or three hundred of them, he'd have made two hundred, three hundred dollars just from making this. And dudes would sit around all day and they would take these and you'll see them watching the games and everything. Just pop them in and eat them and them. Only one did this was me though. Oh, mm, kind of good. But they would eat them and be like, oh. Mm. And you see them just popping up there, shaking them in their hand, just eating them all day. Because it's good. So here you have it. Yo, prison trail mix. And it is pure deliciousness, man. Look at this. Mmm, 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 mmm. I wish y'all, man, I wish y'all can taste this. I ain't made this since I've been home. And it just reminds me how good this is. Y'all know what I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna give it to them grandbabies and they gonna be up all day Running around, hyped up over this stuff here. Because it's pure deliciousness. So there you have it. Another original from Bank of Pam. Another one of them good old recipes. And I know y'all gonna ask me what's up with the um, cookbook. I'm working on it. I'm trying to get it done for y'all. All of this will be in there. Ain't like y'all gonna miss nothing. Whatever I ever cook will be in the book. With that being said, I want to thank y'all for rocking with me. I want to thank y'all for joining me. I want to thank all my supporters, especially the one who got me this right here. It's one of my most uh, favorite gifts from my uh, family member, supporter, as well as this good robe here. You understand? And as well as my outfit. Shout out to the person who got me this outfit. I just wanted to let you know. I ain't gonna say your name because I don't know if you want your name out there, but I wanna let you know I appreciate this. This is love. If you send me some, I'm gonna wear it, I'm gonna represent it, you know. So I just wanna let y'all know I appreciate you. I appreciate the love. I appreciate all the feedback. I appreciate all the comments. I appreciate y'all watching my videos and taking time to rock with me and ride on this journey with me. We just started. We got far to go. We're going to get there. That's a guarantee. We're going to keep doing what we're doing. We're going to keep pushing forward, feeding the positive, stopping the negative. If you out there 
and you got any type of negativity in your heart, man, I hope you can get rid of that disease because that's what it is. It's a disease. We just positive over here. We just trying to uplift, uplift people. We trying to help people, man. And we trying to spread good information. And we, most importantly, I want to stop the people, the young people, the youth, from making the same mistakes that I made when I was young. That's my whole goal is to spread positivity and to save someone from going through what I went through. So with that being said, man, I appreciate y'all. I, I got some more cooking videos coming up, some more things y'all probably ain't seen but want to see, and we're gonna get it all done in this year and beyond. So I love y'all. Peace. Be smart. Be safe. Make good decisions. And I'll see you next time, man. Peace. Thank you special. Yeah. Pure delicious. Pure delicious. Coming out here after 30 years, yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm gonna have something because I'm rich in personality, you know, and uh, I'm rich in love, my family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts.